Welcome everybody. Welcome to Clearing Ancestral Pain. Today is February the 8th, 2024. Um, why this why this topic? We've been talking about clearing physical pain and then clearing emotional pain. And this time I actually want to um, dig deeper into because pain is a a response to certain stimuli and that is something that we we kind of learn we we learn from the other people we we learn by observing other people and um yes we feel it too and also what is painful for one person now i'm i'm not talking about physical pain now or maybe even physical pain. Yes, what may be painful for one person may not be painful or as painful to a different person. So that is um, true for physical pain, but it's definitely true for emotional pain as well. Some pain, mm, um, especially emotional pain, um, it may not affect another person even though they may be in exactly the same situation. It's just, um, it depends on the, I would say the, 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 the past previous experience as well. So that's why I want to talk about um, and clearing ancestral pain, because we learn how to respond to situation emotionally and otherwise as well from the people around us. So we kind of learn what is um, appropriate or what is a, um, what is the right, well, okay, right response may, be, may not be the right word for it, but what is kind of um, normal, I would say normal for this, or for one family may be very, very different from another family. So that's why um, when we start to dig deeper into it, it is like our response, our response to pain is, can be generational as well, because, you know, each generation learned from the, the previous one. So that's why, um, I want to do some clearing on uh, the ancestral pain so that when we clear up the, the so ancestral pain um, is being passed down by through DNA. In our DNA, we kind of have the um, a download of significant events that is from our either parent's side or from our mother's side. Uh, from our father's side or from our mother's side. So there, it is passed down to us through the DNA lineage. And when we clear those unconscious um, patterns, then it actually frees us up to be able to really be present with who we are right now, not who we are because of you know, generations back what happened. So that's why I, I wanna do a little bit of that. So I just wanna talk a little bit about the ancestral um, patterning. Just um, so ancestral patterning, because how long? I, I would say probably the last at least the last um, few thousand years, there's been a emphasis on um, patriarchy. So patriarchy is more emphasis on male um, dominance. So, which is, it's not always that way, but in the last few thousand years, it's been like that. So what is what does that create? It creates an imbalance because yes, male and female, uh, we, we have our body has different 
genders. I've got these two genders. However, within our body itself, there is the masculine and the feminine as well. And um, the masculine and the feminine is an energy. It's not a um, physical body. So there's a difference between the gender and the masculinity and femininity. And because of this emphasis, over emphasis, I would say, on um, more masculine quality in dealing with reality. So there's, it's kind of created like this imbalance. And now we're kind of switching over to more feminine um, way of dealing with things. We are starting to do that. So we are in the process of balancing that out. However, right now, yeah, we, we're not very balanced. So what is feminine and what is masculine? So um, masculinity is more logical, more um, structural, um, practical. And Femininity is more about nurturing, about feeling, emotional, those things. So right now there is, um, I think the, the reason why we are so disconnected from ourselves is because being nurturing is part of being feminine. So that's why there's a lot of um, disconnection from the feminine. And our body is really more on the feminine side because it needs to be nurtured and um, so that's why there is this this connection so that's one of the theme is the imbalance in masculine and feminine and the other theme is really about disconnection so we are disconnected from one another we are disconnected from our environment and we are disconnected from um, like, like even within ourselves, we, because the emphasis had been very much on um, the physical, because, you know, we've been living through 3D. So third dimension is about physicality, is about um, the very body conscious. And that's, that's in itself as an imbalance, because we're not just the body. There are parts of us that's not physical. And we've been very disconnected from those aspects of ourselves. And we, so, so that's why there's that disconnection theme that is running through. And this disconnection, because of the disconnection, it created a fear. Because if we were connected then we actually know that um there's a guidance because the the non-physical part of us actually is a lot more connected with our environment and when there is danger within the environment is like um, if you look at animals if there's anything happening um, whether there is a wildfire or if there is um if there is a um, earthquake coming, the animals would know first. Why? Because they are still connected to the environment. So they actually have that sixth sense to, to know it. But because the human being is disconnected from our environment. So that's why um, fear can come in because we are, we don't, um, have that intuition to guide us. So that's part of the the, um, the fear agenda and all that. And um, so those are all major themes that is within our lineage, within our psyche. Fear is when we are totally connected with ourselves, then we, we actually um, normally don't feel fear, or at the very least, we don't feel fear to the extent that we do right now. Um, like I've been really noticing these 
couple of uh, like like even today, today and yesterday I was out, so I was taking the subway. So I I actually feel my body being in fear when I go on the subway. So that is um, that's the response from my body. It's when I do more clearing from my body. Then I think today when I went out, I don't feel that as much. So that is something that fear is within the body. So, um, and it's because of the disconnection. It's not because there is actually any danger on on, on the subway. Now, can things happen in the subway? Sure. It can, things can happen. But this is a fear that does not have any um, real danger attached to it. It's just fear because of that disconnection. So, um, so that's so. Hopefully, when we do more of that, clearing the ancestral and also more arch archetypal um, patterns within humanity. It would assist all of you to be easier to let go of the other fears and the other disconnection. And so that it's easier for all of you to, um, if you wish to, to, to just be more connected with who you are, with your body, with your environment as well. Questions, um, comments so far? <laughs> okay, great. So how do how am I going to clear? So um I mentioned a lot that these archetypal patterns and um patterns from the lineage is stored in our DNA. So that's why um I, when I do the clearing, I would um connect everybody back into yourself to the highest version of you so that you so that that higher version of yourself would be able to guide you um so guide individually each one of you to be able to access that and also to open up your dna to open up the um Akashic record as well, and to clear that from your lineage. So that's that's my plan. And if there are no other questions or comments, then let's begin. Okay. So just um, make yourself comfortable. And just start by um, taking in a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose, breathe in deeply. And let it all go. Breathe in again, deeply, as deep as you can. And breathe out. Breathe in one more time. And breathe out. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. As you breathe in, spring in as much energy as you can. And as you breathe out, just let go of 
anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. We do that a few more times. And every time you breathe out, just kind of do a quick scan of your body. Wherever it is that you feel any tension, just imagine that that part of your body is also breathing out and letting go of all the tension that is being held in that part of your body as much as possible. And when you breathe in, just imagine that part of your body being able to expand. And also relax. Allow your body to become more relaxed. When you feel your body becoming more relaxed and shift your focus into your heart. Really feel that you're in your heart. You can do that by either putting a hand on your heart just to physically emphasize focus in your heart. Or you can just imagine you're taking an elevator, an energetic elevator that takes you from your head all the way into your heart. And put your focus into your heart and when you do that, shift your breathing into your heart as well and imagine that you can breathe in pure love into your heart and as you breathe out let go of anything and everything that does not support your body to be receiving and holding on to pure love. Fill your heart up with pure love. And when you find, when you begin to feel that your heart is filled, with pure love and you feel that peaceful pure love within your heart and then go ahead to fill the rest of your body with pure love as well and let your body your whole body Feel pure love. Allow your body to feel what it feels like to be completely immersed in pure love.
Imagine your whole body being filled and surrounded by pure love. Notice what that feels like. And when you feel that, and from your heart, send a beam of this pure love from your heart downwards through the soles of your feet. Send it to Mother Earth. Send love to Mother Earth. From your heart to the heart of Mother Earth. And feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. And also from your heart, send a beam of pure love from your heart through the top of your head, all the way back to the sun, to the representative of the creator in this part of the galaxy. And feel the creator, the universal creator, returning your love. Through the top of your head, all the way back into your heart a million times over. And when you feel yourself connected, and filled with pure love, and set the intention that you want to connect with the highest frequency version of yourself. of your soul self, the highest frequency version of that, that is beyond space time, invite that version of yourself to connect with you and to guide you. through the rest of this process. Feel that version of yourself. Holding space for you. Ask that highest frequency version of yourself to assist you. in opening up your magic record. And 
assist you in clearing. Ancestral patterns that are no longer serving you. within your heart. You can access your DNA. And now, imagine Seeing your parents whether they are still alive or not. Just imagine them in front of you now. And if there is any emotional triggers on seeing them and just take in a deep breath of pure love to assist you in clearing those See your father and your mother. In front of you. No matter what they are like. No matter how they have treated you, just know that they are still a part of you. They played a role. Now let's work on your father's side. In your mind's eye, imagine that you hold out your hand and touch your father's hand. so that you can access your father's lineage. We all have many emotional belief programs. Some have been passed down from previous generations. Let your highest frequency version of you guide you. Know that you, although may not be conscious of those patterns, 
However, you can feel it in your body. If any emotions should come up, and simply breathe in, bring in your love to assist you in clearing and letting go. the highest frequency version of yourself to assist you in accessing the disconnection energy pattern that is within your father's lineage. You don't need to do anything. You simply need to observe and allow the pattern. That is within your Akashic record and within your DNA. Shift. However it is the most appropriate to shift for you in this moment. Now in this you release generations upon generations of experience of this this connection. Especially as experience on your father's side.
Now let's bring in the mix. Candle. To work with. And simply allow the disconnection pattern continue to shift. The mix pattern is a pattern of balance. Balancing male, balancing masculinity and femininity. Within yourself. And allow the highest frequency version of yourself to be that guide to assist you in shifting this balance within you to support you in this moment. All you have to do is simply allow Allow the energy of masculine and feminine within you to come back into balance. To come back into harmony. And to release any emotional or physical memory within your DNA, within your Akashic record, within your lineage on the father's side. Now, any of the unprocessed obstacle within your energetic body to be released so that you can come into balance again.
And now let's bring in the third. The third pattern. The third pattern is connecting with our environment. Our connection to our environment. Once again, allow the highest frequency version of you to assist you in holding space and guiding this process. Now, the highest frequency version of yourself. To guide you to process within your Akashic record and within your DNA. To let go and release any blockage. so that you can feel that oneness within your environment.
Let's move on to the next step. Connecting with your mother's side of the lineage. With your other hand. Hold your mother's hand. In your other hand, so that you have one hand holding on to your father to access your father's lineage, and your other hand is holding on to your mother's hand to access your mother's lineage. So then now, allow the highest frequency version of you beyond space time to guide you in accessing your mother's lineage through your Akashic record and through your DNA. Shift. First energy pattern, which is this connection from your mother's side. There have been different experiences. This connection. So allow your the highest frequency of yourself beyond space time to assist you. In shifting the patterns, the dislocation pattern, that has been learned and experienced through your mother's lineage as well as your father's lineage. Remember that you don't have to do anything except allow for these patterns to shift. As you bring in pure love through your breath, and as you breathe out, simply allow what is ready to shift to leave you.
same for the second pattern, the pattern of balance. Allow the highest frequency version of yourself to guide you and assist you. in accessing your Akashic record and your DNA energy. To release the experiences of this balance between masculinity and femininity from your mother's lineage and your father's lineage. For the third pattern of being disconnected from our environment, Allow the highest frequency version of yourself beyond space-time to assist you. In, access, in accessing your Akashic record and your DNA, your multidimensional DNA. pattern of being disconnected from our environment as experienced through your mother's lineage as well as your father's lineage.
continue to bring in pure love as you breathe in to assist you in processing all of these energies.
take a deep breath in. Bring in the pure love as much as you possibly can into your heart. As you breathe out, let go of anything and everything that does not support you in this moment. Another deep breath in. Bring in pure love all the way into your heart. And from your heart, send this pure love. your father and to your mother as well. And to all that is from your mother's lineage and from your father's lineage, or those that has come before, send them love, pure love from your heart. Breathe in again. Bring in pure love. Into your heart. And feel it all throughout your body. Breathe in pure love again. Connect with your body in pure love. And use your body Connect with your environment in pure love as well. Bring in as much pure love as it is needed to fill up your environment with pure love.
in your heart. Feel gratitude. For Mother Earth. And for Father Son. For your father. And all of the ancestors on your father's side. Your gratitude for your mother and all of your ancestors from your mother's side. Your gratitude for the highest frequency version of yourself. Thank you for the guidance. Take in one more deep breath. Let it all go. When you're ready, come all the way back into the room and open your eyes. When you are ready.